Okay, so what can we do as a new galactic experiment? Hmm. We can take a picture of the moon in narrowband. No. Mm, we can take a one hour single shot of a nebula. No. We can try to image an object through the clouds. No. Then maybe... Wait, I got it. Let's take a one hour single shot of a nebula. Let's do that. Okay, so let's make sure the guiding is correctly going and is safe. Hopefully it will not jump around in the next hour. So here we'll do a 3600 second exposure, which equals 60 minutes, which equals one hour. I'm going to select only one shot because I don't think we have the time or patience for 61 one hour shots. Oh, and for the filter, we'll pick HA because that's the safest way to go. If we pick, let's say, O3, we're afraid that from our backyard, the light pollution will be way too strong for a full hour and completely blow up the image. And let's launch it. All right, three, two, one. Okay, this is a 10 minute test shot from earlier. And now, bam. bam. Nice. And only one satellite. Okay, let's take a deeper look at it. Okay, so as usual in uh, many of our experiments, we are on the computer now and we're going to analyze uh, the image we have ga um, gotten from the computer. So, uh, as we open the, the image here, which is one hour, so 3600 seconds, um, let's see what happens when we stretch it. Bam! So first thing, I'm really surprised we only have one uh, plane trail. Uh, I think it's uh, maybe. I think it's satellite trail uh, because Orion, uh, the Orion region usually is full of satellites. So I'm really surprised we only have one, which is great. Hmm, it's really nice to see all the gas uh, really visible here. So usually you, you do about 10 minute exposures uh, max usually on on most targets. Some people do like 30 minute exposures sometimes. So as you can see, the core is of course completely blown out. I mean, one hour, right? Like usually for Orion, I mean, for the Orion Nebula, you want to do like three, five, six seconds for this co for the core uh, because it's so bright with the it's trapezium. too much. Uh, but here, of course, one hour is completely blown out, which is expected, right? Uh, we have uh, M43 here, which looks really nice. Oh, and look at all this gas. It's like, it's nice to see this in a single frame. Like there was no... No stacking, no processing, nothing. And you can see all this intricate gas. Right. Is there also a reason why we're seeing a lot more of the lightness happening on the right side of this image than on the left side? I mean, over there, the yeah, top really left is very left. dark. And here it's light. I think it's because... Is it just, is it light pollution? Is it just the gaseousness of it? I think it's the gas. Because I, I know for a fact there is so much gas here. Like all here. I don't think there's much gas on the top left. Mm. It's HA, so I think most of the uh, light pollution was blocked anyway. So I think it's just gas. That's why it looks lighter on the right side. I do like all the stars in it. I mm. think they're really nice. And the good thing is the stars, well... Eh, they're a little bit off, but they, well, from I mean, far away they look really good. This is, this is why people don't do like an hour exposure at a time, because the stars... I mean, it's very risky because you can have like a bunch of trails. You can have um, the mount not being good enough. So here we have a bit of a, of a trailing because the guiding, I guess, was not that good. It's a little bit elliptic. Uh, probably with a seeing. So we have some star trails, which is fine. Probably. Which is why we do we keep it safe and do 10 minute exposures usually on nebulae. I mean, we've talked about the benefits of doing long exposures and short exposures. It really just depends. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is a single frame of one hour. It looks great. It looks amazing. But it's I think it's too risky. Uh, to do that. And I think it depends on cameras too. I mean, some cameras do better right. uh, with shorter exposures, longer exposures. So, I mean, yeah. for someone, because it's probably a common question to ask, is it really hard to take out the satellite oh, yeah, super from easy. there? Yeah, that's super easy. People will complain about satellites. Uh, they probably don't know that it's super, super simple to remove. So it doesn't matter. Well, actually, Un actually with one frame... Unpopular opinion. Actually, actually, you need, you need at least, I think, seven or nine frames at least to have a 
uh, a good way to remove it because with, with one frame you can't because the software will need several frames to compare it to right. and divide, uh, subtract it from other frames. Makes sense. So this was one hour of taking a single shot. Will we do it again? Probably not. No, we'll, we'll keep it safe and do 10 minutes like, like usual. But that was pretty fun. I mean, you know, you, get, you learn a lot from it. Like the noise wasn't completely yeah, terrible. It was great. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys next time for a different experiment. Please let us know in the comments uh, if you have any ideas for more galactic experiments because we really need ideas if you want to keep this series going. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And clear skies. <laughs>